Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Madeleine and I'm going to share with you today how much small YouTubers make on YouTube and specifically how much I make with my small channel as well. Um, so this channel that you're watching on right now is actually not monetized yet because I have yet to reach 1000 subscribers. I am working towards that goal, which I'm sure a lot of you are as well. But I have a main channel which I have grown to um, 13k subscribers so far. So that one is monetized through a few different ways, but I'm going to share with you how much I make through AdSense on that main channel because it, it has grown so it is bringing in an income but it's still quite a small channel obviously compared to the really big ones on youtube so i just wanted to share kind of how much you can expect to make through adsense on youtube alone and i thought it would be really fun to see how much you guys think i make on youtube so i'm going to give you kind of my stats and then i want you to write in the comments below how much you think i make before you watch the rest of the video. I just thought it would be interesting to see what your guesses are and if they are, you know, kind of near to the amount that I actually make. So my um, on my main channel on YouTube, I have, as I said, 13,000 subscribers and my view count is usually around 50K a month, so 50,000 views per month. Sometimes it's 60,000, sometimes it's less. So for the past 28 days on my other channel, I had around 69,000 views. So go ahead and write your guesses right now in the comments below. Pause this video, comment below how much you think I made from that channel in the past month. And yeah, now that you've put in your guesses, let's go ahead and show you how much I actually made. And do stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to share with you how you can increase the amount of money that you make through AdSense and a few tricks that I have learned that I really wish I would have known like years ago. Okay, so I've got my laptop here. So excuse if I'm just looking down, but I, so as I mentioned, I had 69,000 views, um, uh, which is a bit more than I would usually have. Um, so it kind of depends obviously on the amount of views that you have but the views are not everything which i'm going to share in a second exactly why um it does depend on how much watch time you have but for this month i had made 356 dollars so that's the amount i made simply from google adsense for that amount of views so you know that's a pretty good chunk of money but it's obviously not something that can give you a full-time income which is why i have a whole bunch of other income streams coming into my business um so i'm not simply relying on adsense i'm kind of looking at it as the cherry on top of everything else um so that's how much i made during this month obviously the more you grow the more um, views you have the more money you're going to make as well so it really does depend on how much of your video people watch um, obviously the more that they watch through the more ads they will see which means it will be a higher revenue for you and it also depends on the niche that you're in i'm actually really curious because the channel that i'm just sharing with you so my main channel that i have monetized here that i made um 350 dollars with last month um is a lifestyle channel so it's kind of lifestyle cleaning home making motherhood things like that so um, I have uh, heard that channels who are in the lifestyle niche actually have a lower RPM, so they earn a little bit less than channels who are probably more niche or more um, like specific on certain topics like finance or blogging and kind of like more business things that I'm sharing on this channel. So I am actually really curious to see when I do monetize this channel that you're watching on right now, I'm curious to see the difference in RPM between this kind of more businessy social media channel and the other one that's a lifestyle one. So I will definitely keep you up to date when I do reach that point um, because I think it will be interesting to see the difference. But yeah, as I mentioned, I do have multiple income streams because obviously you cannot rely on just that amount of money to make your full-time income. So I also monetize through affiliate links on that channel and also on my blog, on my Instagram as well. I use Like to Know It, Amazon, and I also have specific products that I share um, through my affiliate links as well. So I make a bunch of money through that. I also have my own products that I sell. So I have presets for Lightroom, which people really love. So that's a good chunk of money as well. I also have some courses that I sell, which they're all linked in the description box in case you are interested in kind of blogging and more social media tips. I also do brand work. Um, so I do sponsored posts on Instagram, on my blog and on my YouTube channel as well. So that's also um, an income stream for me. And I also have blog ads um, through Mediavine, which are actually really good. Like the Mediavine ads on your blog make a really good amount of money. So those are my income streams. I'm not just relying on this amount of money for my full-time income. I think it's really good to diversify your income because 
um, just having one of them can be quite stressful and I also think it's important not to just look at YouTube as reaching that milestone of getting monetized because um, I mean it's a good milestone to reach obviously it shows you're on the you know on the good path but um, it's not everything like, I just know when you first get monetized it's just pennies so you're not earning that much and even growing your view count and your subscribers it actually takes a while to build up some income just from Google AdSense. Yeah, do let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more um, videos on kind of the YouTube side of things um, because I could definitely do that. Okay, and then I want to show you something that's quite interesting on the different types of videos and how much I made from each of those. Um, so I've got here four videos that I want to show you and how much I made from each of them um, because it's quite interesting to see the difference um, in income. So first video is just a kind of Primark video. So this one has gotten so far 26,000 views and I have made from this one $154. So really good for a video that's been recently published. And then I've also got a similar sized video. Um, this one has actually, oh, it has 30,000 views. It's the IKEA sofa, an IKEA sofa one. And this one made $166. So very similar um, in the amount of money I made from each of these, even though the watch time is um, different on them. So if you notice on the Primark one, the watch time is actually 2000 hours. Um, for the IKEA video, the watch time is only 1000 hours, but it actually made a bit more than the uh, Primark video. So it's quite interesting. And there's a few reasons why your videos will make different amounts of money um, and I'll share that in a second why that is. But I'm just going to show you a couple more videos. So this one is the Amazon Buys one. This one has 23,000 views. So very similar again to the Primark one. And again, the Primark one had $150. And this one has only $70. Um, and that's because it's a shorter video for this one. So this one's only 10 minutes, whereas the Primark video is 25 minutes. So that means um, people have watched the Primark video for longer, which means they had seen more ads on that video, obviously leading to a higher income. So that's why the revenue on these videos, even though the view count is very similar, the um, ad revenue is much, much higher. It's like double on the Primark video because people have watched for longer. That means more ads. That means more income for you. And then um, similarly, I also have this video on um, kitchen organizing decluttering and this one has 25,000 views and it's made $66 and again this is a shorter video which means it will have a lower revenue even if it gets tons of views um, just because obviously the longer the video is the more money you're going to make and that's one of the tricks on how to increase your AdSense revenue to make videos longer but the thing is you can't just make them longer with fluff you have to make them longer with interesting things information that people really need to hear um so you can't just make it longer for the sake of it you just need to pack more value in it because otherwise people won't watch the whole way um and it will actually damage your um, youtube channel so you do want people to watch as much as possible so you can make those videos longer but again pack them with the value. The um, mid-roll ads only appear on videos that are eight minutes or longer. So I do aim for all or most of my videos to be over eight minutes. Um, and on my lifestyle channel, I actually make them around 20 minutes a lot of the times. Um, so that's a really good tip for you. And your amount of money that you make per video is dependent on something called RPM. In case you don't know, that's very common uh, knowledge in the kind of ads, ads, Space. So RPM stands for rate per mil, which means rate per a thousand views on YouTube. So that's how much you make for a thousand views. And my RPM for, for example, for the Primark video is around $6, for example. So that means I made $6 for each thousand views I got on that video. And the thing is your RPM can vary so much depending on a few factors. It depends on the season that you're in. So during Q4, which is the last trimester of the year, that's when um, advertisers actually pay more for ads. So you will make a higher amount of money during those months. Um, that's just kind of generally what happens every single year. And that's because it's the holidays time people are willing to pay more for ads and then you will get paid more obviously so that's one thing that influences the rpm also the country that you are in and the country that your audience is in 
that's a really high factor as well yeah there's just a whole bunch of things that influence your rpm but the thing is that you can control is to make your videos interesting to make them um, longer um, and to pack them with value so that people watch all the way through or you know as much as possible from your video but yeah one thing that's really important on youtube is to stay consistent which i feel like a lot of people struggle with um, which is why i have created another video which i'll link down below on how to stay organized and how to stay consistent as a creator blogger youtuber influencer whatever you may be um just generally as a creator how to organize your time how to prioritize so that you make sure that you are consistent every single week um, so i will link that video down below um, in case you need help with that but do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and do let me know in the comments below if you would like more videos on youtube um, growth and yeah i hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye guys